Certain pothos is an easy-growing houseplant that's attracting plenty of attention due to its unique leaf texture. These plants need plenty of indirect bright sunlight to properly thrive and boost faster growth. Avoid direct sunlight as leaves will get burned. It can also be grown in a low-lit environment. Insufficient light might cause the silver variegation to fade and the green color takes over. It should be watered twice weekly in the warmer months and less in winter. Do not overwater. How often it should be watered depends on factors such as the temperature and the type of pot. Usually clay pots tend to evaporate faster than plastic or ceramic. The safest option is to water until the water drains out and allow the top soil to become dry before watering again. An average humidity of 40% promotes fast growth. Mist the plant regularly to boost humidity. It prefers a temperature range of 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and a minimum of 59. Satin pothos is not a fast grower and doesn't require a lot of feeding. Feed it once a month in spring or summer with diluted all-purpose fertilizer. Don't feed during winter. The correct amount of fertilizer will help keep its beautiful leaves healthy. Keep in mind that over-fertilization can cause damage to the plant. This plant needs to grow in a well drain pot. The growth of the plant will slow down if the soil becomes soggy. Pothos plants are poisonous if eaten, causing irritation and making it difficult to swallow. It is recommended to keep children and pets away from the plant. It's best to repot the plant every year in spring. Your plant will grow faster in fresh new soil and will give the roots more space to grow. Poor water damage, roots appearing underneath the pot, and slow growth are indications that it's time to repot the plant. Ease the plant from the present pot without damaging the stems or roots. Shake or wash off excess soil. Examine for root damage and trim off as necessary. If you like to use a decorative container with no drainage holes, put a layer of pebbles at least an inch high in the bottom of the container to keep the pot above the water that drains out. Make sure you monitor the water level in the container so that the plant doesn't sit in water. Satin pothos plants don't require regular pruning, although you can make the plant become bushier if you cut off the tips of the stems. The ideal time to prune the plant is in spring, prior to the growing season. Cuttings propagated in water are the only way to get new satin pothos plants. Cut off a trailing vine of 4 inches long, having at least 2 or 3 leaves each. Place the cuttings in water. Make sure to replace the water when it becomes discolored. Plant them in fresh soil when the roots are about an inch long. Set in pothos can grow in water, but eventually they will have to be transferred to soil for better growth. You can improve its appearance by cutting off dead leaves. This will encourage new leaf growth. Clean leaves occasionally to remove dust. Overwatering causes root rot and can be avoided by watering only when the top soil is dry. The stems will become soft and brown or black spots will appear on leaves. Pests like scale or spider mites usually cause problems for satin pothos. Act quickly when you see signs of infestation as they can kill the plant. Cut off any infected leaves then spray neem oil. Low humidity will cause leaf tips to turn brown. Yellow leaves are a symptom of overwatering.